Hi, welcome to my channel, Tastefully A Mother's Love. I know I've been gone for a while and only have one video, but I had other things to do. I'm a single mother. I have kids I have to attend to. But however, let's get this show started. Today, I will be making seafood fettuccine. First, what you're going to see me do is put a tablespoon of butter in my cast iron skillet. I love cast iron skillets. I'm going to melt that down and I'm going to saute one whole celery stock and about yeah, two, two pieces of bell pepper. Um, I'm cooking a small amount. I have two pieces of salmon and about seven Asiago shrimp that I peeled already and I have canned crab meat. It doesn't matter what kind you get. Crab meat is crab meat unless it's claw meat it's still from the crab. It don't matter. And shrimp shrimp hair, you know you have your your um your sweet shrimp and this is what this is the sweet shrimp and it's no salmon is that it's salmon regardless if it's frozen or fresh. And I'm gonna be using my seasonings which is garlic seasoning salt salt lemon pepper onion powder black pepper and a little bit of lemon juice at the end and I of course I have my fettuccine noodles that I'm using it don't matter where they come from fettuccine noodles are fettuccine noodles okay now that I got this butter going it's not actually butter I have it's you know it's not butter so you know what it's got to be I'm going to just saute this and then I'm going to I like to season my my vegetables that I'm sauteing I'm going to just give them a little salt and a little pepper and garlic onion and seasoning salt I use my lemon pepper on my fish when I start putting the fish in. I'm going to start with, uh, I season to taste, but because it depends on how many people you're cooking for. I'm only cooking for myself today to make this meal last maybe two or three days. So I'm going to put in about a pinch of garlic salt I mean garlic powder I'm sorry a pinch of onion powder a pinch of black pepper a pinch of salt and a pinch of seasoning salt I won't use no pinch because we still got to um, season our fish and this is going to be the last the last thing that we put in because fish this type of fish cooks quick salmon and the crab meat is already done and the shrimp you know only take about five minutes so but I am I'm going to put the shrimp in after the salmon I got my fire on maybe like a medium low heat and I'm not going to use water because you know your fish has water in it so there's no need to put water and I'm not going to make my own Alfredo sauce today. I'm going to use canned Alfredo sauce. Just get the Alfredo sauce of your choice. Simple. I'm going to take the, my chosen Alfredo sauce. It has three cheeses in it. I'm going to pour it over into my skillet. And I'm going to 
give it a stir and I'm going to add a little bit of milk, about maybe a third, no, about a fourth cup of milk. And then I'm going to let this go for a minute and then I'm going to add my, my fish after I feed it. I just poured a little bit over. I'm not going to use the entire thing, probably. So let's see how much sauce is left in here. And then I don't know. Okay, and while this is going. I'm going to start to season my fish, which it doesn't take much. I'll probably end up seasoning one side. I'll see. Because these days they're not really thick. I'm going to cut them up too into, into the pieces. Gonna start off with my onion powder. I don't sell. I don't put stuff on my shrimp. I don't, at least. And I'm like I said, I season to taste. I'm going in with the black pepper. My seasoning salt of my choice. and my garlic powder and my lemon pepper and I'm done seasoning that Also whisk here. It's easy what type of thickness I have. Probably end up putting some more because yeah. I have noodles. So use about a, a cup of milk, I'll say. Just shake it up in your jar. Because I'm thinking about the noodles. The noodles do suck up moisture. So gotta be real careful with it because your ones will fall apart on you see that and that was plenty plenty of seasoning also and I don't season my shrimp because it's gonna soak up a lot of the seasoning inside the um what I'm gonna do is get ready to drop my fettuccine noodles inside the boiling water and I still have my sauce still simmering here so my celery and my bell peppers would be just the right softness, not crunchy or not too soft. Okay, by the time I get back, I'll have, we will be to boil my noodles and drain them and get ready to put everything into the sauce. Okay, as you can see, I'm still continuing to boil my noodles. I have turned off my sauce. It is just the right consistency for me to add my fish after my noodles are done. That way, as soon as the fish gets done, I can go ahead and put the noodles in without having to possibly overcook my seafood. Because everybody knows you cook seafood too much, it gets tough. And I don't want no tough fish or no tough shrimp. Be right back. Okay guys, I just dumped my noodles in my strainer and drained the water. This is what you see right here. I'm going to just turn my fire back on my Alfredo sauce. And now I'm going to get ready to drop my salmon in piece by piece. And let it warm up. Like I said, it doesn't take 
much to cook salmon and shrimp so I'm going to let the salmon cook a little bit first before I put in my my crab or my shrimp after I finish putting it in here I will stir it up and that's all of my salmon in here I'm going to let that heat up. And as it starts to heat up, it will cook. And what I really like, I like to eat breakfast salmon and eggs in the morning time with some toast. That would be really good if you haven't tried it. And it's okay if the salmon gets done and starts to break up in the sauce because then you will have the meat throughout. And it's, it's no big deal. It just broke up. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be chewed up and ate. Okay, once I get the salmon done, I'll be right back. Okay. The salmon is done. I'm going to go ahead and throw my crab, my canned crab in. This came out the can and it's just crab meat. Nothing special like um, claw meat or anything. Just a can of crab. And what I did was I took it and I let it drain in, a, in my little strainer in a, in a plastic bowl here to get the water out, the juice, whatever. Now I'm going to go ahead and Pour that in here and give it a quick stir and then I'm going to go ahead and add my shrimp and my noodles and I'm going to see if I need to add a little bit more milk to here. As you can see that salmon got done really fast. That was about a little bit over three minutes or so. And then after I get everything in, I'm going to give it a, a taste and see if I need to receive it. I'm going to drop my seven pieces of shrimp in. Like I said, this is only me eating, so it's nothing big. Going in here. I'm going to get it a simmer and I'm going to grab about a half cup of milk and I will be right back. Okay, now I'm going to add my half cup of milk, give it a twirl. And then, oops, I'm splattering and stuff. Not on purpose, but this is my kitchen. I'm the one got to clean it up, so should nobody be pressed about it. So I stir this up. I'm going to go ahead and throw my noodles in and stir it in. And well, actually, I want to give it a taste to see if I need to put seasoning in because we all know pasta is made out of flour and has no flavor, and it sucks up all the good flavor that's, that that uh, the juices or the meal that it goes into. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and throw my noodles in, quick and fast. I'm going to toss these around. I know a lot of people don't like to put their noodles inside their spaghetti and, and eat it like that, but that's my preference. You don't have to do what I do. I'm just cooking for me. I ain't not cooking for a restaurant. This is my choice of cooking. And if you want to, you can always add more cheese or 
anything that you want. Absolutely great because I don't want to add too much milk because you know after it sits it the water back down sometimes. I don't want that. But I am going to add uh, about a fourth cup of mozzarella cheese on top of my mine. And the flavor is delicious. About a handful. Turn it down on low. And I'll be right back. Okay, there you guys. There you have it. You have your finished seafood fettuccine. And it is delicious. The I didn't overpower the seafood flavor with the seasonings it is just right you never want to overpower your seafood with seasonings because it takes away from the seafood flavor so you always want to remember that this is awesome and very fast to fix if i wasn't vlogging thank you guys you have a blessed day